the scriptures speak a lot about the importance of uh, taking care of our bodies and taking care of uh, the poor. And it's often the poor who suffer disproportionately from these conditions. If you are uh, living in India where diabetes is a massive problem, uh, for instance, uh, it can cost something like £3,000 a year to have effective treatment for diabetes. The average income for most Indians is £2,000 a year. That's not even the income for the extremely poor, that's just an average income. So you can see immediately the treatment options for a lot of people facing these conditions are not good because they just can't afford them. So prevention is, is, is a vital thing and it's a, that's a justice issue. I think we would recognise that um, it's, innate, it, it's in human nature that we, we tend to indulge ourselves, we tend to want to um, do the things that actually aren't good for us even though we might even know that they're not good for us. So there's also the, the issue to do with, with how we address our own fallen nature. Um, and that's also something as Christians we're, we're acutely aware of and we want to be involved with, with helping people and helping uh, governments and health systems to address these very fundamental issues. And then, you know, these are all problems that can be addressed and they're all soluble. I think that's the important thing to understand. But when there's vested interests and there's powers at work that don't want them to be solved, uh, we also have to recognise that we are called as Christians to stand up for what is right and what is true, even in the face of it being an inconvenient truth. And uh, we need to stand up for those who are going to suffer if, they're, if, if, if action is not taken. So what are the main prayer points? What are the key prayer points now ahead of these discussions? I think the first major prayer point is that there would be a very clear set of targets and agreements out of this uh, meeting in New York next week that uh, it's not just a talking shop but that, that out of it there are some very clear targets that countries will sign up to including big lobby groups like the United, the United States and the European Union, big countries, big power blocks that can influence and sway what other countries do. Um, I think the second thing we need to pray for is uh, for the national governments where these are becoming major problems. We think particularly of parts of Africa, but but especially I think for India and China where, where uh, non-communicable diseases are a real problem, that those governments take those issues really seriously and start working very hard on the public health issues that they need to address in their own countries, the lifestyle issues, the messages that are going out in advertising. And let's face it, the advertising for food, tobacco and alcohol is far, far bigger budgets than health education budgets do. So there's got to be some really concerted action from those governments that change the sort of messages that are getting into the public consciousness and affecting people's behaviour. So uh, it would be good to pray for specific countries, I think particularly India and China, that the governments take those issues seriously and start taking action at a local level as well. Mm -hmm.